In this video, we're going to review the item search functionality in Unify POS. As with other Unify POS videos, keep in mind that the keyboard layout, coloring, key location, etc. may vary from what's seen here. However, the actual functionality is the same. In this case, I'm going to press the item search key on my keyboard. It's going to launch the item search dialog. We can filter down based on four criteria, by department, by sub, by item group, and by word search. First off, I'm going to do a department filter. So I'm going to click on department, and I'm going to choose the department I wish to look for, in this case, products. I'm going to go ahead and press search, and what this is going to do, it's going to find every item that fits department two, which is quite a few. I can scroll down through them, choose the one I want. I can cancel to exit out, or I could further filter. So I'm going to filter again, but this time I'm going to add the hair accessories sub-department and then click search again. It's going to further filter down and give me even less items. I can additionally add a word search to this. So I'm going to click on word and I'm going to type in the text bow, B-O-W, and click OK. And I'm going to hit search again and it's going to further filter down. So right now, I only have items that are in Department 2, which is products, sub-department 3, and then have the text bow somewhere in their description. If I find the item I want, such as this Halloween bow, I can go ahead and ring it up by hitting enter, hitting enter and select. Now the system is set to prompt me for a quantity. This is a configuration option. If it were not set, it would automatically ring up one. But because it is set, I can enter a one by default, or I could choose a larger quantity such as three. In this case, I chose to ring up three, so I have three Halloween bows. I'm going to go back into the item search. I'm going to again filter by department, again by products. I'm going to go ahead and search. I'm interested in this particular item. I have an on hand of zero. I'm going to go ahead and hit inquiry. What this will actually do is launch the item inquiry screen, which there will be a separate video on, but it will allow me to see more information on the item. In this case, it's the item I want, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F7 to sell the item. And it rang it up. If you notice it rang it up directly from the item inquiry screen, that parameter does not affect things. It will automatically ring up one. If I did the same search for that item, again, department two, search, and I rang it up from here, it is going to prompt me for a quantity. That's the difference. Additionally, from the item search screen, I could search by item group, choose any of my defined groups, and that pretty much covers item search. Thank you very much.